The reason that Harry's comments stung Muslims so deeply is because it echoes what so many already felt, that a British army was there to occupy Afghanistan and kill Afghans. Because really, what kind of constructive and humanitarian assistance can an army give when they've been trained to dehumanise people into chess pieces? Harry and his publicists are trying to do damage control by saying that the lines were taken out of context. So what is the full context? A royal prince was trained to kill humans and he was then sent off to a foreign country that had already been pillaged and looted and destroyed and then he was given commands and controls to go and kill military aged males and then he did so and then years later he dismissively mentions in passing this whole experience in a self-pitying book. That's the full context and really it doesn't make anything sound any better. Harry said that he would have preferred to live in a world without Taliban, without any wars. If that was the case, there's so much he could have done, so much he could still do to end UK involvement in wars. He's a prince. He could choose to use his influence internally. He could choose to raise awareness externally. He could have chosen not to pull the trigger. But we know that he doesn't mean it, so anything that he says about this is just digging deeper the hole that he's already in. Personally, I don't think Harry should be silenced for what he said. In fact, I think he should be encouraged to go into more detail about the ideology and the training that's being pumped into British soldiers. It's not even the first time that he's likened killing humans with playing games. In 2013, he said it was a joy to use his controller during airstrikes. He said it was like using playing a PlayStation or an Xbox. There's also damage control by military figures who say that it's never a good idea to publicly mention your kill score. Personally, I think it's a worse idea to occupy a country and kill its inhabitants in the first place.